Hi, I'm James Wilkinson from the Fame Bureau. Today I'm talking about this piece of artwork. It was the uh, cover for the compilation album Slow Rollers. Now, what's interesting about this one is that this piece of artwork is unique because uh, it's wrong. I don't know if you can see exactly what's wrong with it here. If you haven't spotted it, it's down here. It was looks like it was originally called Slow Roller. Now, this piece of artwork came from the Shoot That Tiger archive, originally produced for Decca um, as part of the Rock Echoes series. And it was released on Decca. Its uh, serial number was Tab 30. Um, the photograph was taken by Gerard Mankovic, as you probably know, a very famous, uh, iconic rock photographer. And the art direction was done by David Wedgbury, another great photographer, whose work, of course, um, of photographic portraits is in the National Gallery. Now, it was a combina combination, I beg your pardon, a compilation of ballads by the Rolling Stones, uh, released in 1981. And it was a follow-up to the rock and roll numbers a year earlier called Solid Rock that they released. The main feature of it is that it had the Italian version as Tears Go By, which saw its first international release with this album. Um, now, that lettering at the bottom, originally when I, this was discovered in the archive, it just looked like the S had fallen off of the letter set. But under closer examination, you'll see that this is actually, if I can get it on there and show you, it's actually painted, it's hand painted. So it wasn't a mistake, it was meant to be like that. This is also hand painted up here, the Rolling Stones part of it. It's a very simple piece of artwork for a production artwork because it is just simply a piece of acetate over the Gerard Mankovic original photograph there and just boarded up. Um, you can just see a little bit more and that looks like, again, uh, it's written on rock echoes, it's written on at the top there and that's because um, you can tell it is just because the uh, lettering isn't perfect as it would be if it had been printed on or lettered set on. Um, very interesting. Uh, it's different um, and it's the only one in existence in the world.